let's start with the ending is that Santa salt shrooms. So <laughs> basically, so how we think of Christmas is mostly brought to the U.S. by the Dutch. Dutch stole it from the Germans, you know, St. Nicholas. The Germans took it from the Russians. Russians took it from this indigenous group of people called Sami, S-A-M-I. But in the northern Norway, Sweden, Finland, and kind of the northwestern part of Russia, they live. And that's, by the way, the area where reindeers are domesticated. Reindeers don't live in North Pole. Okay. So mm -hmm. this is Arctic Circle, super high up north, and they would have this indigenous group of people. And then... And these original Santa Claus was shamans. Basically, that would heal common ailments. You know, you had a issue with your leg or you had a flu. Just like they, the plant doctors all over the world. All over the place. So probably 99. Borderos, vegetalistas, yeah. Siberian hut shamans. Yeah, exactly. Same thing, different indigenous and plants. And that's why they say Santa Claus lived forever because there were so many of them. Yeah. And they would be generation after generation. And, and, and the whole color red came later. They would not wear red. They wear blue. There's a little bit of red in their outfits, but... Mostly blue. And they would travel. Oh, I'm fucking rocking a blue Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm going with the throwback jersey this, I wanna... this Christmas. Anybody want to get authentic as fuck, go throwback blue Santa Claus and be like, bitch, know your history. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> and uh, they would go from village to village with reindeers. That was one of the big domesticated animals. You know, there's, you know, seven to nine large domesticated mammals. And, Did they and... have one with a brighter nose that yeah, would exactly. lead the way in the dark? Well, that gets to later in the story. <laughs> okay, shit. So the, the, so the shamans or, or the Santa Clauses would go around and pick wild herbs and mushrooms. And in September, October, they would go into the spruce tree, which is the Christmas tree. So if you go to, let's say, New York and you see this big Christmas tree and it's it's uh, it's a Norwegian spruce or something like that. And underneath that grows Amanita muscaria or Fly agaricus, which is the red mushroom on your iPhone. On also your shirt. on my little, yeah. little shirt so, pocket thing here. Absolutely. So it is the red mushrooms with the white dots. The whole Amanita muscaria family is kind of toxic. Some of them are even lethal, but this one is poisonous, but not lethal. You're not going to die from it. And it has special powers that we'll get into later. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you pick it up under the Christmas tree. So that's why a lot of countries, the gift, the presents are put under the tree. Or then because you serve it in, you know, end of December, you have to dry it. So that's why it might be on a sock on top of a top of a oh, fire. Oh man, everything makes sense. Even yeah. the fucking socks. <laughs> the socks. It goes so deep. So I anyway, didn't think it went so deep. Yeah, anyway, so you dry it and uh and the Sami people, so this spruce is one of the holy trees. You know, it's like Avatar, you know, the Navi people would have this holy tree. It's one of the sure. holy trees. And because it provides it, these gifts. Yeah. Every year. And, yeah, it's a special tree. And then um the star on top of the Christmas tree is um is the Polaris, the brightest star in the constellation. You would use it to navigate. It's a GPS basically. And you, mean, man, you were sandbagging us when I said, how good are you on this fucking <laughs> Christmas story? Because <laughs> you're really good. Like, you yeah. got this one now. Well, now we get to the stuff that a lot of people don't know. Like, for the, that what, so the red balls in your Christmas tree were the Amanita muscaria. So what the shaman would do is called the butterfly loop. So you would have uh, a tree. You have to dry it. And if you don't have fire, you would just put it, um, the, the mushrooms on the tree and let the sun dry. That's how the vitamin D is created. Mushrooms are similar to animals in the way that they cannot produce their own food. They need external food sources, but they can also um, create things through the skin, same way as we assimilate vitamin D from the sun. Mushrooms can assimilate vitamin D from the sun. Mm -hmm. So you sun dry it. So you take the biggest tree, the biggest spruce that has a lot of sunlight, and you start putting amanitas that you find in the Christmas tree branches. And you start making butterfly loops around it, and you start bringing you take a loop, come back to the main tree, take a loop, come back to the tree. So eventually there's a tree somewhere with 100 Amanitas hanging from the Christmas tree branches. So even if you go back to the German stories, you still see kids holding the Amanita. So that a lot of these traditions either changed or mm -hmm. got left over along the way as it went through Europe and eventually the US. But if you go back to the German photos, you see little kids with the Amanitas. Yeah. So anyway, um, this is this is Sam, Santa drying out the shamans drying out these mushrooms, and then this other main holiday of this winter equinox, you know, comes and and uh, there's a lot of snow. You're so mm -hmm. up far north, and you would travel with the reindeers, and you would get to the village, and they would have this huge teepee, almost like a yurt meets teepee. It's called kota, K O T A, and it has a hole on the top because you need fire. It's freaking cold, so you need fire inside. And um, and if there's a lot of snow during the night, you can't enter. The kota has like a really uh, low entrance to kind of crawl in. Are you about to tell me they come through the chimney? They come through the <laughs> chimney. <laughs> so um, 
And then you would uh, do a ceremony. We don't really know. They have this drum that has afterlife. They make a little round drum and it's you draw in, in like the underworld, which is death, which is obviously a common thing with psychedelics. It's like mm -hmm. handle, how to handle death and how to come with the grips of dying and getting sure. comfortable with that. One of the master fears we all yeah. have to grapple with. And uh, I think that's one of the themes around psychedelics generally just around death and life and death and that seemingly binary, you know, thing, but mm -hmm. it's necessarily not. So then, um, and they would have this ceremony and they would have, and they would probably see reindeers flying and uh, Santa <laughs> well, leaving. So we got to get into that. So, and did they also deliver, I heard that they delivered, sometimes the hot shamans would deliver gifts to the to kids as well? Yeah, so yeah, so this was originally, so the psychedelic mushroom of Amanita muscaria is technically the first Christmas present. Mm. So Santa sold shrooms is not fully correct because it was a gift. Yeah.